Hi, I'm here to show you how to actually create an entry or an event in your own personal calendar that was given to you with your Google account. First of all, you're going to go to Google Drive, and once you're into Google Drive, you can go right into your drive and you're looking for the waffle symbol, which is your app. So you can just click on that and you want to click on calendar. Once you're in calendar, usually you're thrown into the week view. There is a month view, a day view, and all sorts of different views. But I'm starting out with the week view. And for the week view, what we want to do is we want to simply add an entry. According to your assignment, you are to add an entry on the date of 526 or 527. So if you click on this arrow key, it actually gets you the next week. So here you see Memorial Day, and then here's my 526, and I'm looking for the time of 630. So I'm going to scroll using the scroll bar, and here I have one already, but I can actually simply delete this event and then start over so you can get a feel for how to do it. So we can just delete all of these events. So they go away, and now we're going to create a new event. So you can just double click in the cell or you can just simply do edit. But here I'm going to change the event to wake up for school. And then everything should be pre-filled. You can change this time because it says 7.30 and I'm asking you to actually put 6.30. You can either type over it or if you click you'll see a drop down and you'll try to approximate the time through that drop down and pick the choice as well. So if you see, we have the same date here in both boxes, to and from, and the same time, because that's what time we want to wake up. Now there's a, another thing where we can actually, we typically go to school five days a week, so we can actually set up a repeat. So I'm just going to do this checkbox, and it brings up another dialog box or screen, and you can set up how much you want to repeat it. Right now it defaults to weekly, and then every one week, but we want to do it on a daily basis, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we want to make sure we check each of the days that we want to have this reminder. And then it starts on 526, and then you want to set it to be ending at the end of your school year. So then you want to click on this last radio button, it's called, and then you want to set this to be the 13th because you're actually going to go to school one last time on the 12th so you'd want to stop it on the 13th so you can either select it in this calendar or you can type over it right here we'll just type it in 13. Now once we have everything set the way we like it we can just click done and then it automatically sets it up and now we don't since this is something that's just for us personally, we can just uncheck invite others and see guest list. And if you want to choose a different color, you can. Um, you can pick anything you want. And then this field is really nice. This is called a notification field. It's kind of like a reminder. And what it will do is it will pop up. If you're logged into your account and this event occurs, it becomes 6.30 a.m. on 526 or any of the days that you repeated it on. Ten minutes before that time, a pop-up will show up saying that you need to wake up for school. And that, in, in essence, you're actually going to get up at 6.20 because it's ten minutes before whatever your start time is. So, and then that's all you need to do, and then you can press the Save button and then you'll automatically see it populate and you can even check it you can just kind of scroll through the week by using this arrow button next period if you hover over something sometimes you find out what it is so I can keep going and if you see I didn't as I kept going there I noticed that I didn't see it well it's not showing 630 so we need to scroll the scroll bar up so that we can see our time frame so now we see it so if I scroll back to the prior week, it automatically is setting up to go to 7 o'clock. It doesn't show my 6.30, so I just simply scroll it. Now, 
the next thing I wanted you to do was actually for your tech question, I wanted you to look up Father's Day. So to scroll for my weeks, I warned you that it would be in June. We can keep scrolling until we see a date. And here we go. We have on Sunday, June 21st is actual Father's Day. And it will have some holidays already in there for you. So you shouldn't need to do those unless there's something specific that your family does. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please um, let me know. Thanks.